<laughs> What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here and today I'm with Joe. I'm no longer my things to do. Now I'm resin makers. Resin makers. With a Z. With a Z. <laughs> she makes resin things. So yeah. go check out is your YouTube. You have it on your YouTube? I do. It was my things to do. All I did was change the name to resin makers. Alright. Resin makers. I'll put a link down below in the description. So go check her out. She sold her first set of resin dominoes today, which is awesome. I'm so excited about yeah. that. What? <laughs> oh, it awesome. feels good. I feel like I'm I'm a real person now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real girl. <laughs> Alright, so that's a topic for another day where we're selling things now. But Today's video is about what da -da -da. What country? Snack, snack crate. All right, I probably should shake this. These have drinks in them. Oh, now. that's right. Oh my gosh, let me get a glass real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, so she's gonna get a glass, and um, I'm gonna open this thing up. See what country we're doing. What country we have today? Guys, I want to remind you that we are not sponsored by Snack Crate in any way. Joe pays for these out of her own pocket. Snack Crate, we keep asking you, please sponsor us. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Drum roll, please. Ooh. Bam. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. We want to use a turn when possible. No, we're not using a turn. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Africa. Oh wow. Hey, that opens up different. That than does. Oh, there's a thing to scan for the music again. That's right. Where's my phone? We'll do that at the end. We'll do some yes. jamming out to some South African music. That's gonna be cool. And then we'll do our fun facts at the end. Ah, we got some snacks to try. Alright. Does this thing tell us about the snacks? It does. Okay. Ooh. All right. Oh. First okay. thing is flings. 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 Okay. Willard's flings. These delicious corn puff snacks are light, airy, and packed with a savory flavor you won't be able to get enough of. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> okay. Oh. It looks, it looks like a puff Cheeto. This looks like a Cheeto. Tastes mm. like a Cheeto. Mm. It's good. But it has a different flavor from, see, maybe it's like a white cheddar. Yeah, very light. It's a savory flavor. It is savory. Ooh. That's good. <laughs> yes, it is good. I like this. This mm -hmm. is good. Mmm. That was pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. mm. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Alright. Your turn to take something. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Oh, those are really good. Let's just go with these. Simba. Simba. <laughs> Mexican chili. These chips will take your taste buds on a flavor safari. They are delightfully crisp with a spicy, delicious dust of chili cheese powder. Simba. Oh, I I wonder if they're gonna taste like chili cheese cheese on uh, Fritos. I don't know, but they don't look like they've got chili on them. Oh. Looks like a Ruffles potato chip. 
because it has riches. I think their idea of chili and my idea of chili are really way off. No. It tastes like chili. It tastes like a bowl of chili and it's got a kick. Maybe Ooh. my chili isn't kicking. <coughs> <laughs> got some spice. Okay, that one did. That first chip. Mm. This one has, yeah. yeah. See? This yeah. one got the spice. Yeah. <laughs> this one don't. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Woo. I'm feeling a little heat right there. <sighs> got some spice. It's so spicy. <laughs> Why is it so spicy? <laughs> Yeah, we don't have those little where we can edit and do flames out of our mouth. Oh, I know. That would be funny. That would be hilarious. Cool. Yeah. These are good. They taste like chili. Get it right there. Get you right in the goozle. Goozle? The goozle. Chest is burning. And you just keep eating them. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Oh, I feel some burning right in here. You know, like when you drink some strong alcohol and you can feel the burn. Oh my god. I feel the burn. It's like, oh, it's so hot. Let me get <coughs> another one. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Where's my water? <laughs> mm. Oh, those are good. It's not as hot as I thought it was going to be. I could, it could, I could stand for a little hotter. <laughs> Trying to kill somebody. <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Alright, here we go. Mini cheddars. Look at that. Yum! Mini cheddars. Bite-sized crunchy biscuits infused with zesty Afri South African flavors. We've included either the original cheese or fruit chutney variety. Fruit chutney. Mm, we got cheesy cheddar snack. I wonder what a fruit chutney would have tasted like. What? I think we're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll try that one next. Oh. Did they come together or are they? Oh, okay. Mm. It tastes really close to a, a Ritz cracker. It doesn't taste cheesy to me. Oh wait, there's the cheese. Yep, there it is. Yeah, that's pretty good. Very cheddar-y. Does this have spicy? No. Or, or spicy that's from the last chip. Because <laughs> <laughs> my mouth is still... It says zesty Afri South African flavor. Just zesty, not heat. My mouth and throat are still burning from the chili. Okay. You're making a face. You don't like them, do you? No, I was looking at somebody's name on the back of it. Um. Okay. Can't get rid of that heat, can you? <laughs> well, I don't drink milk, so. Feel the heat! Uh 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 Even describe it. No, it's like sweet and savory at the same time. Exactly, like a honey barbecue, but, but more honey than barbecue. Yeah, it's got a zip. Yeah, it's like a oh. zippy zing in there. Yeah, it makes you go oh. 
I like it. Yeah, it's almost like barbecue, a sweet barbecue sauce, but it's got zippy tangy in there. That's pretty good. I do like it. Wow. I just wasn't expecting. It's hard to describe. It's it like, really is. I don't know if I like it or don't like it. I like it. But it's different. Mm. That's good. I could keep eating these. Hey, Lucy, send us some more of these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Is it my turn or your turn? Well, you got it in your hand, so. <laughs> I, I can't find it on here, though. Sweetie Pops. Sweetie Pops. Says everyone's favorite soft spot. Chocolate coated itsy bitsy wafer bites inspired by our famous sweetie pie. Alright, let's see how Africans do chocolate. Alright. There's something inside. Feels like there's something inside. Kind of like a nut. It looks like a milk dud, but rounder. Or a malt ball. It looks like a malt ball. It looks like a peanut guy. The peanut Wait, guy. You got two stuck together. Oh, do I? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to say, it oh. looks like the peanut guy in chocolate. Oh. It's like a Kit Kat. But a round shape. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Kit Kat. Exactly. Yeah. That's quite good. Mmm. It's okay. She don't like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but this tastes like American chocolate. It's not like the European chocolate. No. I'm going to eat these all. Okay. It's currently seven o'clock and I'm eating chocolate. <laughs> what difference does that make? Cause I probably should be eating dinner since I haven't had any. Oh, I thought that maybe you would cook dinner tonight. I think you're wrong. <laughs> We're having dinner right now. <laughs> I'm being a smarty pants. I don't think there's any of those in here. Mmm. What's that big white thing? It's a nougat. Mm. It's a peanut butter nougat. I just had candy it's and now I'm going to have more. Sally Williams nougat. Creamy velvety soft honey nougat mixed with a variety of intense flavors. We've included either almond, macadamia, cranberry, or peanut butter varieties. Darn it! We got the peanut butter. Why? You don't like peanut butter? I like peanut butter, but I mean, you know, if you're gonna sit there and you know, tease me with stuff, give me something that like the matter. I like how you were just cranberry. talking and doing this, and I'm all like. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking and talking and talking There's and two talking. There's peanut butters. Why not give me one macadamia? 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 I can't. <laughs> So it looks like rice paper. I'm gonna bite it. How hard is it? It looks hard. Nope. Mm. Oh, it's soft. Because mm -hmm. we're eating a bunch of stuff. This thing. It's very peanut powder. This outside. It tastes kind of like. What's those little 
chewy bars that are like that. They're the little, the little Johnny Walker things. Is it Johnny Walker? Or is that alcohol? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I, caught, I caught the macadamia <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> I don't like this. It kind of reminds me of the Mary Janes. No. The Mary softer. Janes. Mary Janes are flavorful on the outside. Whatever this white is, is like it should be peeled off of it. That's how. I, that's what I say about brie cheese. Brie cheese is good. Nobody likes that rind thing. I do. I don't think you're supposed to eat that part. It's, it's like a wax thing. It's good. I don't think you're supposed to eat that. What? That is my hand. underneath because a Nestle peppermint crisp mm. <gasps> I imagine it tasting like those toothpaste Take, tastes like a Nestle Crunch Bar with peppermint. Forever. A true South African favorite. This sweet treat is filled with the crisp, cool flavors of peppermint cracknel and coated in rich chocolate. Wait, peppermint what? Cracknel. What's cracknel? I don't know. Old toothpaste. <laughs> Look at the inside of that. <laughs> That's the cracknel. What's cracknel? I didn't say that right. Let me see this. What the heck is cra cracknel? <laughs> Don't you? Okay, well. I could have said peppermint crust. <laughs> the inside of this is green. Let me get up close so you guys can see this. Oh, God. I'm going to do the drink. Um, I'm scared. Look at that, y'all. It's green on the inside. Should be scared. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's cute. <coughs> All right. Uh, cracknel. All right, here we go. Oh, a cracker? Oh, yeah. You can hear her crunching cracky. Crunching cracky? Like, <laughs> just cracky? Did you say crunching cracky? <laughs> what is wrong with are you? Are you feeling okay? No, my owl just has me going crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. Whew. It's like a green, crunchy candy cane candy in the middle. It is not delicious. Oh, good. Yeah. 
This one's different. I don't like it. I'm surprised. I was expecting it to be smooth and rich and buttery. It said cracknel. I didn't know what cracknel was. It's that cracky sound you see here. <laughs> yeah, it's like candy cane. I don't like cracknel. I don't like candy canes either. Well, no. all right, that's not my favorite candy. All right, so let's eat some more. <laughs> some more. Eat, eat some more. more. Eat, eat some more. more. It says it. Eat some more. Eat, eat some, some more. more. <laughs> it's called Baker's Eat Some More. Eat some more. <laughs> Popular ever since 1940, these delicious shortbread cookies will surely leave you with the desire to eat some more. <laughs> okay, these remind me of Johnny Walker. Isn't there a Johnny Walker um, shortbread cookies? No. <laughs> Isn't there? Oh, Y'all, yes. come on. There is. Yeah, damn. Google it. Johnny Walker. Yeah, Johnny Walker. And it comes in a little plaid thing. It's red. Right now I'm getting all kinds of bottle labels. <laughs> Johnny Walker blue label. No, put in Johnny label. Walker shortbread cookies. I bet you $5 it comes up. I'm not going to bet you $5. I've got $5 in my pocket. Oh, good. Somewhere. I'll take that one. But, I'll uh, give you change. Mm. $5. Okay. $5. Right here. $5. I bet you $5. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> Wait. No, you got to show. I will. No. See? No. <laughs> I, show me. Show me! Because you know I'm right. Give me $5. I, don't, I didn't bet you 5 You said you were going to give me 5 I was right, wasn't yes, I? Yes, you're yes. right. Yes! <laughs> I knew it! Sure. Ha ha! Could have held on to your 20 for you. Aww. There you go. You're so nice. Here, you can have it back. <laughs> Alright, let's eat some more. Alright, eat some more. <laughs> I know you're gonna like these. You love shortbread cookies. I do. Mm. And you're right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All I taste is cracknel. You probably mm. should have the, the drink. Yeah. This tastes like the um, Christmas cookies I'd get. Oh yeah, and that little tin. Yeah, the German Dutch or the Dutch Yes, cookies. yes. These are good. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Very good. Mm. Well done, Africa, with the shortbread cookies. This oh, with a cup of South coffee. Africa. Oh, my God. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, God, yeah. These and a cup of coffee, I'd be done. Mmm. Oh, good. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side. What's next? We have a drink in here, too. Alright, the drink. I think the rest of this is going to be chocolate. Chocolate. <clears throat> we wanna try the, the drink? Yeah. Stony Ginger Beer, a South African favorite. Everything is a South African favorite. South mm -hmm. African favorite. This soda is a slightly more gingery ginger ale, but not mm. quite as intense as a traditional ginger beer. Well, I will be the judge of that. All right. Because I love me some ginger. Yes, you do. She loves ginger, y'all. All right, here we go. I'll eat it raw. Mm. Actually, more? I enjoyed it. Oh, I enjoyed look at the color. Oh, it's clear. I expected it to be yellowish. <clears throat> That's not clear. Clear-ish compared to the yellowish. Okay, because I can't see through it. I can't see through it. Wow. So when you first drink it, it almost is it's like really intense and then it just 
Kind of like an Altoid Intense? No. No. I mean, it's like a soda water Intense. Mm. Unlike, a so and unlike a soda water, it just goes smooth. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. It has a flavor of like the Altoid Intensity minus 50%. Yeah. It's like that's good. It's good. It's hard to describe. Smooth. It's very gingery. And you then smell the ginger. Yeah. Re you can really smell the Ooh. ginger. <coughs> that's strong ginger. <laughs> but it doesn't taste that strong. No, it doesn't. It's really yeah, because it's like flavor and then it's like flavor. Yeah. Maybe it's like flavor. Starts you know what? Now you sound like flavor. You know what you sound like now? Who? I think of somebody with a bunch of chains. <laughs> Flavor Flav! <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> now we probably owe him money. Give me this. <laughs> That's good. That's quite good. Yes, it really is. Well done, South Africa. You can trust Stoney to quench the strongest thirst of a refreshing kick of... Quitza? What is Quitza? Uh -huh. Lucy, what's Quitza? <laughs> Quitza. That is quite delicious. That's very good. I don't All know right. about quenching my thirst. But it's very satisfying. It is very it's satisfying very... to drink. Do yeah. you want any more? Nope, you go ahead. Oh, excuse me. All right. Yeah, I like the taste of that. All right, I'm, I'm looking. I've been staring at this since we opened the box. Nosh. Nosh. Y'all know what nosh means, right? Mm, 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 All mm. right. This delightful nougat bar is made with real hazelnut, hazelnuts, and a creamy caramel, all coated in a smooth milk chocolate. This looks to me like a Snickers bar, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It looks just like a Snickers bar. All right, let's see What's what it's in a Snickers like. bar. Peanuts. Oh, caramel. Nougat. This is hazelnuts. Mm. Caramel. A Snicker. But with hazelnut. With a delightful nougat. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I'll clear my palette. And you'll be. Mm. It's got nuts in it. Nuts are very bad for our tummies. Not tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not. Mm. I have to work Saturdays. Mm. It's really good. Mm hmm. It's like a Snickers bar, but with Nutella. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. I like it. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm shocked. That is really good. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a very strong <clears throat> chocolate flavor to me. No, it's very, um, very, um, mm -hmm. hazelnutty flavor. Mm -hmm. That's good, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's quite delicious. Okay. Bar one peanut. I oh, don't know, it's for a 25 hour day. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. It kind of scares me a little bit. I got to get up at 2.45 a.m. This is almost like what we ate. Okay. Milk chocolate. Go ahead. Buy one peanut. Perfect for a 25-hour day. <laughs> Enjoy layers of malted nougat, peanuts, and a caramel all wrapped in delicious milk chocolate. Doesn't that sound like what we just had? Minus peanut? Only that one had. Um, minus peanut? the hazelnut. Yeah, maybe this one is more like the um, um, Snickers. 
Maybe so. That other one was good. That was good. tastes like a Snickers but but with more nougat and more flavor more peanut butter flavor like if you eat a Snickers because you're hungry midday you need it to carry over this is the meal <laughs> yeah this actually tastes better than a Snickers don't yeah. tell them this is better this feels like it would completely yeah. you can eat that in place of a meal mmm <laughs> Oh That's my God, good. do you hear that child out there? She's gone from rough to... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Pick something out. All right. Oh, there's only two things left. Two things left. Five star classic Cadbury milk chocolate wraps around a filling of creamy caramel and cookie bits in this highly sought after candy bar. It's made by Cadbury. Cadbury. <laughs> it's funny how like um, companies make different candies for different countries. Like we, yeah. we don't have this here in the US but Cadbury has made one for South Africa. Oh wait, it's okay go ahead. Go ahead. What were you going to say? I thought it was round. Go ahead. Oh. Hey. Hey. And this is what it looks like. Sorry. It's good. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're liking chocolate? That's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very chocolatey though. Y'all, Cadbury makes good chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I could say that Cadbury is closer to European chocolate than any other American chocolate. Yeah. This is really good. My goodness. It is. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's my favorite thing out of this box so far. Really? Mine yeah. are the biscuits. The biscuits? Yeah. Mine is that. Oh, All right. Because it, it reminds me of, you know, my favorite cookie at Christmas. Yeah, could be. Tex. Tex. Another Nestle product. Since 1956, South Africans have loved this combination of milk chocolate filled wafers with an aerated chocolate center. <clears throat> aerated. aerated. It says aerated. Why you gotta aerate chocolate? Probably for people like me. It's the foolish. <laughs> All right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You were mad to you were like no. Mm. <laughs> You're not gonna like this one. Uh oh. Super duper chocolatey. I like it. <laughs> you see her over there looking like. Oh, oh. <coughs> Don't call her name. What you guys got? <laughs> I got five of these. You want this? You want that? You want that? <laughs> Drinks of water. 
I told you we we're gonna like it. It's very chocolatey. So did you see that this comes with a recipe? It's a no. recipe to make this. What is that? I don't know. I can't pronounce what it is. Mo Va Poding. Lucy, Malva, what is it? Malva Poding. What is that, y'all? Do we have any South Africans or anyone who can speak the language that could tell us how to pronounce that properly? Lucy? <laughs> Malva Poding. Oh, excuse me. So, you get butter, vinegar, milk, sugar, eggs, apricot jelly, baking soda, salt, heavy cream, and more butter. I know, and right? And sugar. I know this Wow. Flour. I thought I seen flour somewhere in there. That sounds really sweet. We should make it. You, tell us you know what? Vinegar. We'll make it. No, there is flour. Where's the flour in that? No, it doesn't say how much flour. Where do you see flour? In the directions. Where? Preheat oven type oh, 50 so small bowl. Oh, it flour. Okay, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll, we'll do a separate. Recipe. Yeah, we'll look up a uh, um, the recipe for this, and we'll do that on a separate video. I think that'll be fun. That'll be fun. In the kitchen with Tiffany and Joe. I mean, we haven't burnt down the kitchen yet. Okay. All right. Interesting fun facts. I love this part. Velkoman. Velkoman. No, no, okay. not Velkoman. Velkoman. Velkoman means welcome. Velkoman. It just says Velkom. Velkom, then. What would you, what were you saying? I would saying? say it in German. Velkoman. Okay, see, yeah. This is South African. So they they dropped off. Maybe that. I wonder if South Africa pronounces the W as a V. Oh, because I did say Bell, didn't I? Yeah, it could be. Just welcome. Sure hey, be. is anybody? If anybody knows, let us know in the comments. That'd be interesting to know if if I just went straight African, for that V. Yeah, you did, and I went right along with you. I ran right behind you, right down that rabbit hole. <laughs> All right, What's fun, fun facts. facts. Fun facts. South Africa is home to the highest commercial bungee jump in the world at 710 feet. I, I don't understand that thing. I don't know. Plummeting to your death. death. What? Let's How have, fast let's... would you be traveling at 710 feet? How fast would your body be moving? 60 miles an hour. Fast enough that when you hit the ground, you go to heaven really quick. Okay. South Africa is now the only country in the world to have hosted the Soccer, Cricket, and Rugby World Cup. Oh. Interesting. There are more than 2,000 shipwrecks off the South African coast, most dating back at least 500 years. Wow, I wish I were a That's scuba interesting. diver. I know, I bet you can find all kinds of interesting things. The oldest remains of modern humans were found in South Africa and are well over 160,000 years old. Wow. Jeez. The first human heart transplant was performed in Cape Town in 1967. Wow. That is cool. In 67 to have that kind of technology is amazing. Yeah. That is awesome. All right, you want to read this while I... Do the jams? Is, is that Spotify? I don't think it is. I don't know. It doesn't say Spotify. It just has the code thing. All right. No, we'll QR find code. out. Let me pull up my QR code. Mm -hmm. I like that we can take this out and do things. Okay, so South Africa. Welcome. Okay, the Republic of South Africa is the southernmost country in the Eastern Hemisphere and sits in the very tip of the continent of Africa. The landscape varies from vast savannas? What are yeah. savannas? Like deserts. Oh, to dramatic mountainous landscapes to over 15,000 miles of coastal, no, sorry, 1,500 miles of coastline along two oceans. What are the two oceans? Well, 
just like its geography, the population of South Africa is made up of a wide variety of cultures and languages with well over 11 officially recognized languages and traditions reflecting both regional customs that go back thousands of years and the most, most recent reflections of the country's history of colonism by the Portuguese, Dutch, and British empires. Wow. This colonization led to the racist policies of apartheid, which discriminated against black South Africans until 1994, when the first universal elections brought power to the African Na National Congress and elected Nelson Mandela as president. Some of our best understanding of early human art, toolmaking, and culture comes from archaeological finds excuse me, in the Gauteng, G-A-U-T-E-N-G province, oh good lord, and the mm. Sturk Fountain, S-T-E-R-K-F-O-N-T-E-I-N, mm. hominid, what is that? Oh, human, is that? Hominid, that yeah, it hominid. Is. Hominid re remains, yeah. hominid remains have been found that suggests humans and other ancestors, I mean, women, sorry, that humans and their ancestors have lived in this area for over three million years, wow. giving the nickname the Cradle of Humankind. South Africa is a snapshot of what makes us human, both good and bad, and its cultural diversity is a plentiful and, and unique as its thriving wildlife and dramatic landscapes. Wow, sounds like Africa has a lot of really rich history from cultures from other countries. Sounds like South Africa is where humans began. <laughs> right, okay, the continent is bounded on the west by the Atlantic Ocean, on the north by the Mediterranean Sea, on the east by the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean, and on the south by the mingling waters of the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. So, lots of different waters. There. All, All right. right. So let's see. Will this thing? You got yours up? Yep. Okay. Do a QR code. Put up Spotify. Let's hear some jams. She's not so busy getting loving. I just like the loving. <laughs> Not expecting that. What's next? <laughs> I was expecting some. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. You know what, guys? I'm going to give you all a QR code. I love being loved so hard. All right, y'all. This, this music is amazing. Hi. I really like some of these. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that first one was a little unexpected. Slow. Not, a little not slow. Exactly, yeah, not exactly my kind of jam, but Somebody's. awesome. Awesome Somebody's. all the same. All right. Let me get you guys this QR code. So pause and scan this with your, your uh, smartphone. And then you can listen to the jams too. Okay, come on. You're up on the couch now. Let's go. Awesome. There's nothing right. there for you. Well, little girl. <laughs> She's coming with a toy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for joining us. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And go to Joe's Resin Makers and you can see her domino making process and resin things all things resin yeah yeah all right if you haven't already hit that subscribe like comment share see you guys in the next video bye <laughs> give me that thing she's like wait bye what is it wait, where are we oh, no. <laughs> don't do it jump over oh, she jumped over my legs don't knock over the camera please Give me that thing. <laughs> Don't let her trick you.
you like that. Only I can I didn't you. trick her. She just took off running and was looking in the airport to come down. Where is it? Where is it? It's coming any minute now. <laughs> her little ding dong heart. You're so smart. You're so smart. <laughs> okay, I do that on purpose. <laughs> oh my, looking around, looking around. <laughs> Maybe she's doing it over there. Let me go there. It's funny when she looks up like this. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She's like, yeah, this is why I come just close enough for you to not be able to get it. <laughs> She's that's why I do that. Hi, little girl. Mommy being mean to you. Is she being mean? You don't do me like that. <laughs> already outgrown that toy box. You know that, right? She needs uh, another toy box. Oh, God. No more toy boxes. 